Hi, this is Aaron Dorman. I'm a reporter with the Coolidge Examiner, and you're watching Pinal Central's Backstory, where we provide you with a behind-the-scenes look at our latest news coverage. Sometimes reporting can be serendipitous. Even during a pandemic, a lot of reporting work involves exploring and being in the right place at the right time. So last week I drove to the high school to get pictures of the new aquatic center going up along Northern Avenue, and I happened to run into the mayor, the city manager, and the economic uh, development director, who all three of them had had the same idea. So not only did they uh, give me access to the construction site, but uh, I w was allowed to witness the awakening of the inner child of these uh, very important city officials. As the pieces of the aquatic center uh, slide into place, uh, unmentioned in our original story was uh, fees and uh, the fact that I guess a few years ago, while there's a lot of enthusiasm for the project now, I guess there was some debate when it was first coming up um, as part of the budget proposal. We'll have an update on fees and other things closer to the opening date of the Aquatic Center, which should happen either in late May or early June. Once again, this was Pinal Central's Backstory. Be sure to check out our original coverage on our website, uh, PinalCentral.com. Thank you so much.